popular group Players by the Sea. Included in their lineup of exciting shows for the 2017 season are two original plays written by local playwrights. Madame Bonaparte by Kelby Siddons and Sentences by Drew Brown are being produced as part of Players by the Sea's New Voices program. You'll be able to see both shows and help support these up-and-coming playwrights. So joining us with the details, we welcome Madame Bonaparte playwright Kelby Siddons and the director for Sentences, Ramona Ramdeen, to the show. Welcome, ladies. Hey, hey. Yeah, welcome to the show, ladies. Yeah. Yes. All right, so the New Voices program, we had um, the marketing director, Chris Jackson, a while ago to talk mm -hmm. about this. So now seeing it, seeing you guys here and really being able to talk right. about it and it's coming, I mean, how does it feel to be a part of this new program? It's exciting. It's really happening. You know, this has been percolating for over a year, um, and my idea for my script has been with me even longer. So to see it, we're almost opening. All the costumes are going on, the actors. It's always really, really exciting. So, hmm. yeah. So where did this idea begin percolating? I love that word, by the way. It's yeah. a good one. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's time so for the percolator. I started thinking about this after I went to a lecture by a historian up at NYU mm -hmm. and she was talking about a lot of women from different periods of history and specifically one day when she talked about um, Elizabeth Patterson Bonaparte and she was telling us about the book that she had written and this whole woman's journey and she said I think it would make a great movie and I pulled her aside afterwards and said how about a play and so she brought me a copy oh. of the book that was signed and so I kind of had her blessing but this woman is a really fascinating figure because she was sort of America's first bonaparte female celebrity and yet nobody knows who she is when you bring her up now and during the lecture she even got compared to Kim Kardashian in terms of oh. how she wielded her media presence at the mm -hmm. time you know and sort of leveraged that into a career for herself at a time where there were so few career options for and how women. does she feel about the Kim K comparison well she brought it up now, oh. that's a polarizing figure okay. but that's appropriate Betsy Bonaparte was pretty polarizing during her day as okay, well so yeah. I won't give everything away but you know she did she was controversial in her time too mm. Yeah. Mm, interesting. So this project and all, I'm going to get in your business for just a little bit. Where is the funding? How was all this being funded to, to make it come to life? <laughs> oh, she put it on you. Right? Oh. Well, yeah, I'm wearing the, the team official. colors. Yeah. I'm the, well, I also, um, I'm fortunate to also work for Players by the Sea as well. So um, I wear the team colors whenever I can. Um, Players is was is very passionate about funding original work. We have so much talent here mm -hmm. in the in the Jacksonville area, yes. and mm -hmm. so they just they it, it was just kind of a brainstorm idea um, to support original local writers yeah. here, and from that, um, the executive director and the associate director brainstormed and and created the New Voices program, yeah. and it's been an incredible opportunity. Yeah, so the way it works for um, Drew and I as playwrights is we get a commission, and, mm -hmm. and basically that goes toward you know the time that we put into it. For me, in the future, I'd like to take some of that money and do research in Baltimore, where Betsy Bonaparte is from. Oh, cool. um, I also use that to um, you know have the option agreement with the, the woman who wrote the book, Carol mm -hmm. Birkin, in order mm -hmm. to adapt it. So it enabled me to take on a project that I probably wouldn't have done with my own funds, so mm -hmm. I'm really grateful to play for putting it towards producing something new and original for the stage. How is how exciting is it to put the costumes together? Oh, it's really cool. Yeah, we have all sorts of hats and stuff coming in, and you know, it, she was a contemporary of, of Jane Austen, so if you are a period peace film lover like myself, then you love being immersed in that experience where everyone's got the empire waist mm -hmm. and the men have the boots, and so <laughs> they just, they look great, yeah. We have an amazing costume designer, Amy Hancock, and mm -hmm. she's just been incredible throughout this whole process. Yeah. So when you select them for the New Voices program, I mean, are all of your resources available to help the, you know, the words come to life on stage? Yeah, so they pair the writers with a dramaturg mm -hmm. and they work for a year on developing um, the idea. The way that they are selected is um, a blind, a, a yeah. group of blind yeah. adjudicators, right? Mm -hmm. And so they don't know who's submitting what, and they just pick the two best ideas. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. So then, I mean, what was it about her specifically that they were like, yes, she has to be part of the program? Well, in Drew's script, too, right? And that's right. why I think it's so great and flattering that, like, they didn't know whose script it was. Because I've worked with players in the past, and, you know, Drew's an Oscar winner. And so to not have it be about those credentials, but to have it be about the quality of the work. I think there were a couple different categories that we were rated on, um, sort of like the the quality of the idea, and then we had to submit 10 pages, so what was our dialogue like, you know, just in terms of the writing itself, mm -hmm. was it compelling on the page? So I think those are the sorts of things that they were looking for. I think what's wonderful is that both of them ended up being 
they're both stories about powerful women yeah. and women that, and t both of them are true stories. Mm -hmm. And um, and I think that that, you know, sp speaks volumes for the kind of content that they were maybe looking for, mm -hmm. something a little different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what about sentences? Tell us a little bit about, about yeah. the that one's plot. So sentences, so Drew and I went to, we're actually filmmakers and we went to film school together. And at first this was an idea for a film. Um, it's based on a true story about a family member of Drew's that um, went to prison for a crime she didn't commit. And we had always had the idea to do a film about um, kind of, you know, life in prison. Mm -hmm. And then Orange is the New Black came out and we yeah. were like, yeah. missed the boat yeah. on that one. But we then started tossing around the idea of it being a stage play. and. Mm -hmm. um, and Drew submitted it for new voices, and it won. Mm. And he kind of developed the ball of clay, and then brought we brought other people in to help us shape it and mold it mm. into mm -hmm. what it is. And that's what you do. Theater is alchemy. It takes so many different people to come together with diverse talents. And mm -hmm. so when you come to see a show, it's not just the words. You know, these are more than just staged readings. You've got the costumes that are really exciting. I think there's some projection elements in both of the shows. So um, mine is obviously based on history. Uh, Drew's is a lot more modern, but again, the powerful women and just good design and lots of people working together to make it happen. It mm -hmm. almost seems like great timing too, because we're all like, as a cultural society, we're all just kind of like moving in this women empowerment sort of totally, way. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, was that maybe something that had maybe been looked at during the selection process, do you think? Maybe. I can't really speak for the panelists, but I know that, like, in my pitch, you know, I was talking about, um, you know, sort of things that had happened politically recently when you have the first female candidate for president, mm -hmm. and a lot of people talking about, you know, do we view ambitious women differently than men? Are they judged more harshly? Do we mm -hmm. have certain expectations of female characters on stage um, that we don't have of male characters? We just expect men to be interesting and create drama, and even if they're, you know, despicable, we tune in every week and we want to oh, yeah. watch. Yeah. Whereas yeah. If, a, yeah. if a woman is behaving badly um, on stage or on screen, people are a little less you know, comfortable with that. So mm -hmm. that's one of the issues that I'm trying to, to confront with my work, and it certainly came across in my pitch. So it's possible that that's something that they were attracted to, but really I think the quality of the writing is, is probably um, yeah. the primary thing. Our, ours kind of evolved. Sentences just kind of evolved. It, it started out with that true storyline. Mm -hmm. um, and. And then all these incredible characters started mm -hmm. rearing their heads. Mm -hmm. and, and we th thought, what a wonderful opportunity to tell stories about women and, and our criminal justice system mm -hmm. and, you know, give people a look into, you know, some of the, the flaws of our system and, mm -hmm. you know, and some of the, the people that are caught Maybe up the in it. Yeah, the human yeah, yeah. side yeah. of it. Yeah. 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 That's so, a great segue. Actually, when can people start watching or coming to see sentences? Mm -hmm. So sentences, well, Madam, we open this Friday. Yep, okay, okay. And then we open June 9th. Okay. Now when you say we, we as in Madam? Madam Bonaparte yep. is kind of on deck first, and then we run for two weekends, and then Sentences is up next. Yep. Oh, this is really exciting. Well, congratulations. Thank I mean, you. the success of, of this program, I mean, next year it'll probably be even bigger, and I can't wait. I love that you guys are supporting <laughs> local players. This mm -hmm. is awesome. All right. If you would like more information on the upcoming season, visit their website, playersbythesea.org. And after the break, an exhibit that's made its way to Jacksonville with the rich history of the Dance Theater of Harlem. Find out where you can see it when we come back. All new Ellen. Michael.